In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to design and animate the material design carousel in Figma. Let's dive in. First things first, I'm going to create a carousel item. For that, I'm going to create a frame. I'm going to hit A on my keyboard and just draw a simple frame like this. And I'm going to set its width to 56 and I want to make it completely rounded like what we see here. So to do that, we just need to increase the corner radius. I'm going to increase it like this and I'm going to set its height to 240. All right, this is going to be our carousel item. I'm going to rename it to item. And now, and now I'm going to duplicate this item and this second item is going to be a little bit larger. So I'm going to increase its width just like this. But here, as you can see, the corners are not looking good. So we need to decrease the corner radius just like this. I'm going to set the corner radius to something like 40. And also for this item, I'm going to set it to 40. Now I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And now we need the third item. So we need to duplicate this one. And the third item should be even larger. So let's increase its width to something like 270. All right, great. Now I'm going to select these three items and I'm going to add an image to them. So I'm going to run the Unsplash plugin. And I'm just going to hit insert random. There it is. We have these random images. And also we need to have a label for each item, just like what you see here. So let's create a text layer inside this one. I'm going to type title. I'm going to increase the font size to 18. And also let's make it semi bold, just like this. All right, great. We can also add a dark overlay to this frame, but it's not needed now. I just want to show you how to make it interactive. So let me set the padding to 24 and 24, and I'm going to copy this and paste it inside these two frames as well. Now I'm going to select these three item frames and I'm going to put them inside another auto layout frame. I'm going to hit shift and A and let's call it carousel. Lovely. Now I'm going to decrease the spacing between these items inside this frame. Let's decrease it to 16. All right, now before we turn this carousel into a component, we need to adjust the resizing option of its child elements. Why? Because in this carousel, we want two items to have a fixed width and the width of one item should be set to fill container. Why? Because here, basically, when the user drags these items around, they shrink and they grow. Therefore, one item should be fluid and it should take up the whole available space within its parent container, which is this carousel, and two items should have a fixed width. So let's see how we can do it. I'm going to select all these items. I'm going to select this carousel, hit enter to select these child items and just change the resizing option to fill container. Now let's suppose you want these two elements, these two items to have a fixed width and the width of this one should be adjustable automatically. So I'm going to select this one and just change its resizing option to fixed width and just decrease its width to 56. Now I'm going to select this one and just decrease its width as well like this. And this item's width is automatically adjusted and that's exactly what we want. Now we can select this carousel and just turn it into a component and add a variant to it to create a component set just like this. And I'm going to duplicate it once again. Now it's time to make changes to these two variants. Let's select this item. For this variant, we want this item to have a fluid width and these two items to have a fixed width. Okay. So what I'm going to do is select all of them again change the resizing option to fill container like this. Now these two items should have a fixed width, right? So what I'm going to do is select this one and decrease its width to 56, like what we had here in the first variant. And this one should be 168. I'm going to select it and just decrease its width to 168. And now we need to repeat the same thing for the third variant. So for this one, the middle item should have a fluid width and the items around it should have a fixed width. So again, I'm gonna select all the items, change the resizing option to fill container. And now I'm gonna select this one and set its width to 56, like this. And this one should be 168. And this one is fluid and that's exactly 
what we need. Now it's time to connect these variants together and make them interactive. So here I'm gonna select this one, this first item. I'm gonna head over to the prototype tab and just connect it to this second variant. And I'm gonna change the trigger to on drag and the animation should be smart animate. Here I'm gonna change the easing method to gentle and also the duration can be set to 800 milliseconds. Now let's repeat the same thing for all these other items. I'm gonna select this one now and just connect it to this one. The only thing we need to change is the trigger. I'm gonna change it to on drag. Now I'm gonna select this item here in the second variant, connect it to the third variant and change the trigger to on drag. Now let's select this one, connect it to the first variant, change the trigger to on drag. This one as well, it should be connected to the first one like this. Now I'm gonna select this one, connect it to the second one and let's change the trigger to on drag and I'm gonna select this one and connect it to this second one as well and change the trigger to on drag. Now let's give it a try and see whether it works or not. We just need to create a simple frame like this and head over to the assets tab and from here just drag and drop this carousel component into this frame. Let's just make our frame a little bit larger and align it to the center. Now I'm gonna select this frame and hit play to preview our prototype. All right, let's see whether it works or not. I'm gonna drag this one, nice. But here we have a problem. As you can see, this item doesn't have any interaction. So we need to fix that. It's right here. We just need to select it and connect it to one of these variants. It doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna connect it to this one and just change the trigger to on drag. And now let's see whether it works or not. Yes, as you can see, everything works perfectly. It's so smooth. However, there is one little thing we forgot to do. If you take a look at this carousel here, as you can see these text, these labels, fade in and fade out. So let's see how we can achieve that kind of animation. Basically what we need to do is select a label in the smallest item in each variant and just turn its opacity down to zero. We just need to select this label, turn its opacity down to zero right here. I'm gonna select this label here, turn it down to zero again, and this one as well, I'm gonna turn it down to zero. And now let's preview it once again. All right, as you can see, it works perfectly, but there is another issue here. So here, if we check this first variant, as you can see, this item has an interaction. This one also has an interaction, but this one doesn't have an interaction. Therefore, I'm gonna select it and I'm just gonna connect it to the second one. Now let's give it a try once again. As you can see, it works very well. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Have a great day and see you soon.